Antibiotics is one of the most precious resource that we have to humanity, like water. And over the last 70 to 80 years, we have abused that precious resource. We know that it will be not possible without antibiotics to have transplants. We know that people in uh, ICU without antibiotics will die. We know that uh, very premature babies will not be able to survive without antibiotics. And we know for a very uh, common uh, infection, you can die. Unless we have ways of preserving the effectiveness of existing agents, I think we're going to be in a very difficult situation. The United Nations had a General Assembly meeting dedicated to how we solve the problem of AMR. Only has the General Assembly ever met to discuss Ebola in the past and HIV. The Global Point Reference Survey is something, if you like, as a tool. Um, and it's actually something that we also wanted to keep as a very simple tool so that hospitals could really rapidly assess antimicrobial prescribings. In hospitals around the world, the pharmacists, the infectious disease physicians, the microbiology laboratories are working together to put antimicrobial stewardship practices in place to hopefully improve the use of antibiotics and maybe reverse the trend of, of resistance developing. You ask hospitals all over Europe or all over the world at one particular moment of the day to look at antimicrobial use in the patients admitted to their hospitals. The Global PPS project is designed to get a global picture of antimicrobial use and resistance and provide data to adjust and establish action plans to improve the use of antimicrobial use in hospitals. I could find inappropriate, inappropriate antibiotic use of my own hospital, uh, such as uh, prevention of surgical site infections. Global PPSR is a great project uh, to improve our activities. Global Point Prevalence Survey creates an opportunity to generate discussions on antimicrobial resistance by bringing together professionals from various sectors such as pharmacists, clinicians, microbiologists and IPC champions. Nowadays, there is no data about antibiotic consumption, MDR, in South America. It's a great opportunity to have more information in, in our country as well as in South America. And all hospitals, small hospitals and high complexity hospitals can join the program. It's an easy website, free website, with a great support. I'm coordinating the project and I'm in contact with all the participants participating in that study. Whenever they want to sign up for the study, they will get in touch with me. I advise them and I help them through. I also connect them to other participants so they can even start to create networks within their country. The PPS can tell you what kind of antibiotic be used in the hospital, how the doctors prescribe in behavior in the hospital, how is the rationality of the antibiotic be used in the hospital. So this information which comes through PPS is extremely important when we share this back to the hospitals, back management, as well as to all the stakeholders. They realize that there is a lot of improvement which needs to be done, which can be taken as a quality initiative project. And then the consumption of high-end antibiotics, inappropriate, unwarranted use can come down, which ultimately will do less harm to the patients. We already know that once the analysis is out, it gives us a very good data, not only of our own hospital, but as a comparison to different countries and different types of healthcare settings. This data would allow us to come up with targeted interventions on antimicrobial stewardship to improve rational antibiotic use in our country. This initiative gives us an opportunity to collaborate and interact with sites which may have not even heard of the kind of solutions which we have in BMRU. And once they know what kind of resistance patterns and antibiotic prescribing habits exist in their particular geography, I'm sure they will look forward to our solutions to help them counter those kind of challenges and give results for better patient outcomes.
it does not require too much of manpower and too much of training so this will help us in estimating uh, the use of antibiotics without uh, having to use too much of resources which are not available to most of us. With the key contacts at medical side of the hospitals, we have established a network for global PPS program in Southeast Asian region. Nigeria has taken the bold step to join the global efforts, you know, against uh, antimicrobial resistance. So we're now making conscious efforts to avoid prolonged antibiotic use. Biomilieu committed to support this initiative because it was completely aligned with our mission and what we wanted to, uh, to implement in the field of resistance. These are the kinds of projects which we take very seriously as a social responsibility. A social responsibility to the healthcare system, a social responsibility to the countries that we're in, and most importantly, a social responsibility to the patients um, out there who might suffer or are actually suffering from infectious diseases or antibiotic resistance as a problem.